Hey there, Justin from Reaction Brewing Company here. We got a box here to open. Uh, we'll get her open quick to see that there's a box inside of it. Um, we're not down in the brewery, we're upstairs today. <clears throat> I didn't feel like dragging this heavy box downstairs tonight, so we get to open it. Let Hey, what do you know? It's another box. So after making a giant mess, we have another box. Let's see what's in this box. We have a piece of uh, styrofoam. We have a book. And uh, we have some more styrofoam. And let's see what we can do here. We have whatever that is. We have a big box of goodies. We have a jacket. We have this plate. We have this random tri-clover cap that fell off. So, let me kneel down here so I'm actually in the shot and you're not just looking at my dick. <clears throat> So, let's pull this guy over here. Take a little condom off of it. <clears throat> what we have here <clears throat> is an SS Brutac unit tank. Maybe my dog attacking me. So let's pull the parts box over and we'll see what we have inside the parts box. Apparently Mar wanted to watch the unboxing video. <laughs> so we'll cut this guy open. Hey look, we got another random thing stuff falling. <clears throat> so, in this big bag here, we're going to have a valve. Valve. Sample. Port valve. <clears throat> Seriously, for the Cost of this, you got a tricolor valve here, threaded valve on the other or threaded fitting on the other side. That's freaking ridiculous for how much this thing costs. <clears throat> I'm pretty shocked, honestly, that that's in there for 1,300 or 1,400 bucks, whatever this thing was. There should be no threaded fittings anywhere in it. So in here we have a handful of gaskets, a 
90 off the bottom. A couple little hose clamps. Um, a Perlick style sample tap. Cat that hates me but really wants to apparently watch this unboxing video. We got liquid filled pressure gauge, temperature, uh, thermal well, another one of these temperature things that I don't use. Um, carb zone. And the uh, sample tap that goes on the end of this guy here. So pop this out, stick this guy in, see what's in the other box. got feet we're not going to use. We have a little guy here with a pressure relief cap with a pressure relief in it. <clears throat> and then all the um, little fittings that hold it all together, whatever you want to call these things. I just got a million of them last week, so why wouldn't I get a million more today? All right, so we got all that. This is what comes with it. We'll spin these guys out quick, and let's do a quick, uh, we'll put it together quick. There's got to be a freaking instruction manual that came with it. Let's see if we can find it. It's over here. Hopefully they included everything. I don't think I've ever received anything where they have from anybody that has all the stuff in it. We got some uh, little coasters, just in case. So we got just little ads, deals, and uh, apparently, apparently there are no instructions. So, nope. Well, we'll just look at this guy. So, pretty self explanatory, hopefully. This bottom, your 90, is going to go off the bottom. Since I'm on camera, these dry clovers are going to be the epitome of struggle bus. God dang it, that is definitely not what I wanted to do. <clears throat> So close enough, don't need to tighten them all the way down for this. So we got a sample tap, same thing, little washer, stick it on somewhere. Where's the sample tap go? Sample tap goes right here. So we'll spin one of these guys out real quick. Tighten it enough to get it on. Carb stone. Uh, 
It's going to go just the opposite side of the sample tap. So we got our carp stone here. If you guys can see that, hopefully the camera is close enough that you can see. So we'll just tighten that up a little bit. So here we got the thermal well. That's going to go up here. And that's where I run my separate temp controllers instead of the SS Brutec ones. They're just cheaper, easier, run through the glycol chiller. Man, those are some terrible welds. Way undercut. Holy crap. Oh well, what do you expect from China? So, all that crap's over there. Um, you can put this guy on. This is going to be our sample or our uh, racking arm. So, we're going to go slip that in there. Always want your racking arm down, obviously, when you start. So all your yeast and crap trough doesn't fall in it. So, obviously I'm missing a handle, right? It's right here. So there's another handle on the bottom. Is that it on the bottom? That's it. So we got another handle or whatever valve. This is going to be your one that goes on the bottom. <clears throat> when I hook my other one up, I usually run them the opposite. It's just a lot easier to uh, open your hand or open your valve handles on them. They freaking get in each other's ways. But for this demonstration. So let's take uh, this big six or eight inch, whatever it is, try over fitting off. <clears throat> Pop this out real quick so you guys can see. So it's got a chiller coil in there just like the bright tank does. Goes through the top. A ball of paper. And some foam. Inside looks pretty good. A little rough around the edges, man. Not as nice as uh not as nice as the last two things I got from SS Brutag. <clears throat> Alright, back. Apparently my camera died. Hopefully you guys saw me bring this, or uh, my memory card is full. Hopefully you guys saw me bring this out. It's just got a chiller coil on it. Um, so on the top, <clears throat> we got the pressure relief. A little two inch, maybe two and a half inch gasket, three inch, whatever this is. Well, maybe it's even a four inch. <clears throat> so we got that on, winding down here. We have the uh, pressure gauge that goes up top.
And one last thing left. We can get it out of here without needing a tool. This is by far the best part of this. We can find our little freaking like half cut piece of hose that they put on there. So, spin one more of these out, really two more. Throw this on here. Nice little blow off cane. Got our last one. Hopefully we still have memory card left because I didn't take very much off of it. And we have the most disappointing part of this build going on. The threaded valve. Seriously, one. All right, two memory cards later, we're back. So I don't know where I died last time, but uh, we put this on. I explained my disappointment for having the thread fitting on the bottom. Triclover on the top. It should have just been triclover, triclover. Whatever. Uh, so, overall, it's put together. Got everything in there. Got our little sample, sample tap here. Cracking arm. Trub dump. I wish they'd go with a two inch on the bottom, but inch and a half is good. I haven't had much problems uh, dumping the yeast and stuff like that. Just try to dump it at day three or four, um, and it's not that bad. So, not real impressed with the weld, but it's a pretty cool piece of ma that machinery, equipment. Hopefully get to use it mid-November when I finally have time to use the brew setup. So. Uh, <clears throat> I'll grab you guys, bring you a little closer, see if we can uh, avoid an earthquake coming this way. We're barely walking around. So you can see the uh, pressure gauge, the pressure relief, blow off down to the uh, little arm there, or little valve there. You got your sample port here. That's pretty nice, even though it's just a Chinese one, I'm sure, but still. You got your carb stone here, racking arm here, dump there. Let's look at probably a four inch fitting here. Maybe an eight inch fitting there. So overall, it's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get that to pick those up. Oh, it does not want to focus. So you see those welds, not my favorite thing in the world. Same with the super undercut ferrule on the top. So what are you going to do, right? You buy stuff from China, you can't expect it to be perfect. So we'll set you guys back down. Bailey's just running around, probably wondering who I'm talking to. Here, you want me a video? You want me a video? So, thanks for joining us. Uh, we'll be back here sometime next month to use this thing, use the new brew setup. Um, so between this one and the other conical downstairs, the Brewmaster Edition, regular conical, we got a one barrel total we can use, so. Um, we'll do that. You got some warning stickers. You got a dog trying to attack you. Uh, do not exceed 30 psi. 
never used without oper operational pressure relief valve installed. Uh, that's optional on the Brewmasters edition that I have because mine's never been installed since day one. Um, so anyway, thanks for joining us. We'll see you in about a month. Hopefully I can edit this video so it doesn't look too stupid. Um, so thanks. Say bye. Bye, Bailey. Oh, hang on. So we got this guy here. See, she knew I was forgetting something. This goes underneath here. Put the feet up through it. Blah, 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 blah. Nice little like rack or whatever. It's not on because I'm not putting the feet on mine. I'm just going to go to Home Depot. FYI, Home Depot has wheels that fit these for half the price as SS Brutech. They're 25 bucks instead of whatever. They're like 50 bucks um, from SS Brutech. So that's it. All right. See you guys in a few weeks when we uh, use this thing and use the new Bruce setup.